guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know that this has been a very long awaited video. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, but there has been so much technical difficulties with my camera and my computer and everything else that when I came to upload the video, it like didn't want to upload anymore. So I had to re-record it. And then the second time I re-recorded it, I didn't have my battery for my camera. So I was gonna record it with my phone, but then, ugh. But anyways, I'm here now, let's do this. And I hope you, <laughs> um, So I'm gonna start off with the eyes and I'm going, I already primed my eyelids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, ultimate favorite eyeshadow insurance, I mean, ultimate favorite eye primer. It's probably one of the best out there in the market, so I definitely recommend that. Um, then I'm gonna use the Stila In The Mind palette on my. So I'm going to take a E40 blending brush from Sigma. I'm gonna take this mid-tone brown color. this cool toned, this neutral brown with a Lancome um, brush. It's probably one of my favorite brushes probably. And then I'm gonna just put that in that crease as well. And this is just going to deepen up the look. because it's just so refreshing outside it's like perfect but anyways i'm going to take that blending brush again and i'm going to just blend out any harsh lines diffusing it up to accentuate to open up the eye and i'm going to go in with that with this brown again just to blend out any harsh lines a little bit further. And it should look something like that. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more to pack it really in that outer corner because that's where I want the most intensity. And then I'm just gonna blend that further. One thing I definitely like, one thing I definitely um, tell a lot of people when I'm working with clients or here on YouTube is you have to blend. Blending is probably one of the most essential parts of applying makeup because you can move around the eyeshadow and manipulate it into a way that is beautiful. So blending is an utmost important part so any blending brush one like this they sell some good ones in target and the market that is really affordable so i would if you're starting out in makeup i would definitely invest in a blending brush because that is probably going to be the one tool that you're always going to be going back to. cool shimmer 09 and this is, it's a beautiful rose gold tone. And I'm gonna take a firm shader E57 from Sigma. To the Stila Mind palette, and I'm gonna take that brown that I used in the crease with the same um, stiff brush from Lancome. Uh, Lancome? Yeah, Lancome. Yeah. Metallic eyeliner. 
eyeliner pencil in Aqua. Um, I've had this for a long time. It's probably one of my ultimate favorites. Just the Milani Lucrified eyeliners are just amazing in itself. So I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. just because it has an angle tip and it's easily I could easily put it in the inner corner and I'm gonna blend that out and then I'm gonna go in with the blue it had me at hello palette from wet and wild one of my ultimate favorite palettes from the color icon um, collections that they have and I'm just going to use these two blues right here, this light icy blue and this aqua blue, and I'm just going to mix them in together. And then I'm going to take that and put it onto the inner corner. Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes in Eggplant and it's this beautiful plummy just like this plummy like reddish brown that is just so beautiful and I love it um so we're gonna apply that onto the waterline and just kind of just smudge it out to the smudge it down to the lower lash line <laughs> and I'm just gonna go and blend that out and I love this I love 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 this brush to blend out creams under the lower lash line because it has an angled tip even though it says it's for concealer I use it for the eyes because I'm a rebel at heart a rebel hard hashtag Madonna Stila palette and I'm gonna just take and I'm gonna mix this one and this one together still on the same brush that I've been using Take that and just blend out 
any harsh lines. I don't want to have any harsh lines on the lower lash line because I really want it to be smoked out under there. Of course, it all depends on your eye shape. I take it a little bit low because I have enough um, space under my eyes to where before before it starts. So, yeah. And then I'm going to take the Sumptuous Extreme Mascara from Estee Lauder and I'm just going to put that on my bottom lash line. And that is the eyes done. I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna zoom in on. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. All right. So now for the lips. All right. So now that we have the whole face done, I'm gonna just go in with the Revlon. Revlon Color Burst in 20 Papaya. It's just a coral with a few shimmers. It's so beautiful with this look. And this is the look that I, this is the lip gloss that I was wearing. I was just wearing this lip gloss. It took a whole while to take this to get this video up. Um, my bad, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's better late than never. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. Um, leave your comments, leave your thoughts down below on what you thought on about this video, and I would love to read them. So um, if you have any other, if you guys have any suggestions. Um, any videos you guys would like to see just leave them also in the comments below and I would be more than happy to read them and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy have an awesome safe day weekend anything that you guys are doing and I will see you guys later in my next video bye you guys